Good morning, friends. Good morning, friends. Beautiful morning to everyone here today. Good morning, good morning, good morning, friends. Good morning. Good morning, friends. I bring you all um, greetings this morning. Please, uh, I won't have come out here this morning to do this video. But I have to because um, it involves life. It involves life. Yesterday I was at the court. The magistrate saw me. I was battling with bread. Please. But I will not keep quiet. I will not keep quiet and die in silence. My BP is very high. The threat is much. Nigeria, the world at large, the threat is too much. The threat is much. Please. Yesterday, before the court seats, I, I told a lawyer that I wanted to see the magistrates. The, that's the woman that is coordinating. They say I cannot see her, that she will soon come on stage to talk. Then after uh, the sitting, I told the clerk Abby, that I want to see her. She said I can't see her, that she's doing another case. The threat is too much. Like somebody sent a message, how was the burial of your son? You are fighting a church, definitely you will bury your child. Please, these things are killing. We cannot say matter is in court and I will keep quiet and die inside house. Then one Mr. Raynon, Raymond Omokri, Raynon Omokri, call me that I should go and apologize on national newspaper, apologize on TV. I don't understand what I'm apologizing for. That if I do not, anything I see, I take. To me, that is a threat. I can't close my eyes well. My BP is high. I cannot keep quiet and die in silence because of say court is on. So please, I have to come out here this morning and talk because I have to talk. Please. Please. The matter is in court. They should allow the court to take his own place. One Mr. Rain one or Mercury say I should go and write on national newspaper and beg. I don't know who I'm to beg. I don't know why this. The matter is in court. They should respect court order and let court take its course. This the threat is too much. Somebody sending me a message. How was the burial of your child? If it's you, how would you feel? How would you feel when you get that kind of message? They cannot tell me to shut up when the parliament members are treating me anyhow. They cannot tell me to shut up when they are treating me anyhow. I not, it's not as if I have security or I have anybody checking on me. If I keep quiet and die now, this whole thing is over. That's why I came out. I wanted to see the chief magistrate yesterday and tell her, Madam, see what is happening. But I don't have space to. That's why I came here. The threat is mo much. I don't know who is Reno or Namankre. I don't know. It's, it's even yesterday they told me he was the uh, once whether governor or something or vice governor. I don't know. He should leave me alone. I don't have what he have. He cannot come and tell me to go and beg. If I don't beg, what will happen? If you kill me once, can you kill me again? I'm calling on America everywhere. You push, you help me beg him to leave me. You push, you beg the parliament member to leave me. The matter is in court. You cannot tell me to keep quiet. And this kind of a thing is coming. I will not have anybody to tell. Please, Nigerians, America, Canada, anywhere, please help me beg them. The matter is in court. Watch my videos. I have not mentioned these things. It is in court. But the threat is too much. You are fighting our geo. Watch what will happen to you. This will be fun. These are the, it's too much. 
you, the ones that are parents say should look at it. How will you feel when somebody wake up and and, and you, or the message you see is how was the burial of your son? How would you feel? And you say I should keep quiet. Why would the court tell me to keep quiet when you don't call the parliament member to order? Is it is the quiet one side? Quiet should be on every side. Why would I be getting things like if you don't if you don't go and beg them? So the other day somebody say before twentieth I will die. Twentieth is yesterday. I'm still here because God knows that I did not frame lies and come and tell. My son did not frame lies and come and tell. So that's what I say. Let me inform people, please. They know Mamakure. Leave me alone. I don't know you. It was yesterday I tried asking who is this person. I thought it's even Kumuji's son. They say it's one thing to governor of uh, whether I'm a governor. No, I don't know now. I'm a trader. I don't know this. I don't read paper. I don't know. I'll go back. Leave me. Don't tell me who I would to apologize. Let, don't tell me how wrath of God will fall on me. I'm not fighting God. I'm fighting, I'm, I'm, I'm fighting for my child's right. I'm fighting for, for those who cannot talk right. Is it that when something happens, nobody will talk? Why are you threatening me? The threat is too much. I tried to talk to magistrates yesterday. They did not allow me to see her. Nigeria, the world at large, the threat is too much. I, 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 I can't do anything freely. Won't I feed? Won't I eat? Please help me, oh. That's why I came this morning. My BP is too high. I've been lying down, taking drugs. I can't go out. The work I'm supposed to do, I can't do. I soak pap since three days. I can't get up and do it. If I get up, it's more time. Fear. I had been fear. Because of this threat, it's too much. Please help me beg people that they should leave me. The matter is in court. Let court decide. Please. Thank you. Thank you all.